Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be creating graphs in React. Um, you can use graphs in your React application if you want to, for example, visual, visualize some data and have a nice way to show them to your user, whether you're creating, for example, a dashboard or you're creating just an analy analytics page. Graphs are the perfect way to do that. And what I'll be using in this tutorial is a library called uh, React Chart GS2. And uh, no, I will not be creating the graphs from scratch because uh, I'm not a crazy person. But but yeah, uh, I think it's a very good library in order to create very fast, so for example, bar charts, pie charts, uh, or stacked bar charts. You can create everything you want. So yeah, I think uh, let's get started. I'm going to be showing you three examples of three different graphs. And I think this is a good introduction to the world of graphs. So yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to open the terminal in the Visual Studio code and I'm going to do npm create vid in order to create our template vid app. And yep, I'm going to choose React and JavaScript. And now it's ready. And we can do, I'm going to see it in the vid project and then I'm going to do npm install in order to install some uh, dependencies. And then I'm going to do uh, npm install React chart gs2 and also i'm going to install chart gs it's those li libraries that we need for the graphs and then i'm going to delete some files that i don't need from the vid template app and also some code that i don't need deleting it yes and also the code the gsx inside here and also right here and also I'm going to delete the CSS. We don't need it. And I think we're ready and we can do NPM or oh, NPM run dev. And the app is opening and uh, in the browser and you can see that it prints out what we write inside the div. And now we're ready to create our first component. Our first component is going to be a bar chart. So let me generate some code. Yes, nice. And I'm going to import it inside the app.jsx. Import bar chart from, from bar chart. And then I'm going to put inside the div. So there you go, the bar chart is out there. And then I'm going inside the bar chart and I'm going to start developing our uh, bar chart. Basically, I'm going to import bar from react chart js2 and this is the template this is like the component that we can just use from chart js basically so i'm going to create a new object data and i'm going to need to create the labels for this bar chart and i'm going to have cuts i'm going to have uh, docs and i'm also going to have fish basically this is a bar chart about who the best uh, animal is? I think the answer is obvious and you're going to see it. <laughs> if you disagree, you can just uh, do it in the comments, I guess. And uh, yeah, these are the five animals that we're going to have in the labels. And then I'm going to create the data sets. So it's going to be an array again of objects. The first one is going to be a label. It's going to have, it's going to have a value of and the data is going to be 50, 15, 20, 15, and 10. So you can see from the numbers, maybe you can make out which is <laughs> the most popular animal. And then we can put some background colors on them to have a distinction between them. So yeah, these are the colors that I'm pasting in because yeah, you can put any other color you want. And also I want to have border color. Of this color right here. Nice. And also a border width of one. Then I can finally put 
put the part that the um, component that we imported and inside I'm going to pass in the props of data, the data object that we just created. And uh, now what is what we need, we also need to import charts as chart yes from chart.js and uh, when we save oh sorry auto and then when we save you can see that our chart is right here and it's you can see that cats are the best animal so there's no discussion there and also can visualize it as a pie chart we just need to import it so yeah nice and now i'm going to move to a more complicated example this is going to be a stacked bar chart so i'm creating a new component called stacked bar chart dot jsx generating some code and then save oops let me copy paste this so it goes faster nice and putting in right here and now we need to start creating the we need first we need to import some stuff this is a more complicated graph so we need to import more stuff so we're, i mean importing inside the chart as oops Again, I'm the chart as chart JS. I'm also in category scale. I'm also importing the linear scale and bar element title legend from chart.js. And then I have to also do import the bar from react chart js2 and then I need to do chart js dot register we need to register what we imported so I'm going to register the category scale the linear scale the bar elements the title and finally the legend so yeah and also i want to export const options equals sorry these are the options that we're going to pass in the chart so first we need the plugins and we're going to have a title which is going to be basically you need to create an object but it's just going to be whatever that you're going to display a title and it's going to have a text of a text basically so here the text is going to be month statistics this is the theme of the new graph we were creating and also we want to have a responsive if it's going to be responsive it's going to be yes true the scales i need them to be x the X is going to be stacked true, so they're going to be stacked. And Y also is going to be stacked. If we don't stack them, they're going to look very weird, basically. It's a matter of choice, but uh, yeah, I think they look better if they're stacked on top of each other. But yeah, we also need to create some labels. So the labels is just going to be an array of strings. The strings are going to be some months. For example, January, February, and also finally March. And then I want to export the data. I need to create a cons of the data, an object of the data. So that we're going to pass in the labels that we created above. And then the data sets are going to be a bit more complicated than before. We're going to have an object here. Uh, the label is going to be a value of, for example, I want to my data to be like a, a bank account. So the data is going to be 3, 300, 300, minus 400. And also I'm going to have uh, for them a background color of RGB, 255.99. So now you can copy paste this uh, two times for the because we have three labels. Remember, uh, sorry, we have three months uh, that we created above. So 
So I'm just changing up the numbers a bit. So this is a ch bar chart where you're, you're just going to know at each month how much money your bank accounts had. So the first bank account, for example, is going to have 300 and then in the third month in the March is going to have minus 400. Basically, this is the point of the bar chart. Uh, sorry, the stacked bar chart. So, yep. So I'm just changing a bit the colors so they have a distinctions between them. There you go. And then uh, I think it's time to put it in the div. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a bar. I'm going to pass in the options, equals options. Data equals data and we're closing it. So there you go. That was it. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and comment with any questions that you may have. And thank you for watching.